buddy, it's Undead for Life, or now known as Jack Storm Rage, due to Pirates Online Retribution opening soon. Uh, I'm here and greatly honored to be presenting you w with a video of a walkthrough of Port Royal on Pirates Online Retribution. I would like to thank Pearson Wright for allowing me to be a part of this team and allowing me to be able to produce you guys a footage of the game. Uh, I know we've all been dying for it. And so I'm going to quit talking and cut to the chase, give you guys a little walkthrough, show you what they've got accomplished so far. As you can see, I am here on Port Royal uh, in the bottom right of my screen. You can see they have tonics, they have all the weapons unlocked and available to use, including the staff and grenade. Um, I know that there's been rumored to the game being announced at the end of July, which I believe is true. Um, so I'm not quite sure if everyone will be starting with the weapons or if there will be quests or not. I'm not sure. Um, but as of right now, I am on a developer account and just walking around. As you can see, they do have enemies and there are a lot of NPCs just hanging around like over here. Um, when you die, you do go to the jail, you have to kick your way out of the cell, like the good old days, you become groggy and all that fun stuff. There's even NPCs in the graveyards, as you can see. They do not have any of the graveyards working at. Um, this is all I've been granted access to so far, so I'm just going to show you around. Um, swing my cutlass around here a little bit. Uh, all the interiors are complete on Port Royal, that's for sure. Um, I'm pretty sure they're mostly done with all the other islands too, or they might already be done. But as you can see on the map, I have all the teleporting locations besides the two SVS islands, but I'm not quite sure how to get to the other islands. But they do have the loading screens back, and here's Miss Elizabeth Swan. You know, some of you guys' favorites. Oh, she's floating in the air, look at that. Um, not bad. They are making great progress on this game. I definitely give them that. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they bring to us in the, the future. Everyone that I've met on the staff is actually very friendly. Uh, they're all here for the same reason. They're all like us, just wanting to be playing the game again. Just uh, catch up with the old friends and have fun. You know, that's... This game was a great game until Disney unfortunately shut it down, but it's just great to see after years of waiting that uh, people are finally rebuilding the game for all of us pirates here at Pirates Online. But here we are back in the lovely garden of was the swan um, I mean I feel like this game is gonna definitely be the best out of all the other projects for Pirates of the Caribbean uh, I highly recommend sticking behind this one. There's no, like I said, there's no corruption here. There's everyone's here just wanting to play and have fun. Like, no one wants to really get a name out of it. It's just they're, they just want to get back on it and play with all the other pirates and have a good old time. Looking forward to going back to Dark Heart and getting all my darks back, that's for sure. That was, that was fun. Get the lost sword of Alpatron again. 
remember it was like three in the morning and I'm sitting there and my grandma saw us playing the game and I'm like ten years old now, not ten, thirteen. And uh sitting there, I get it. And, like you know, I thought I was seeing stuff, I was watching videos on how to get it and popped up and I start screaming and my grandpa comes running into the room and he's just like, What what the hell's going on? Blah 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 making a big old deal about it and it's just like, you know, the excitement, you know, working for it. And all that's going to be back again, thanks to the team here at Pirates Online Retribution. Um, there's no sailing yet. They do have getting ready for it. Uh, within my next video, I will be showing around all of the other parts of the other islands. Like, I plan on doing Tortuga next. Good old crystal clear water. Taking the shortcut around. There's Devil's Anvil in the distance. We're gonna head into Fort Charles and then I'm probably gonna wrap up the video. Definitely very excited to be able to play the game again. Um, I'm going to check it out a little bit more, play around on it. I literally just got it today and I hopped on. I was like, I have to make a video. So show everyone what it's all about. But here we are. Fort Charles. There's a little, it's a little buggy missing a wall. Um, they do have the Navy, Navy Cannon games again. Um, there's the fort itself. Got some NPCs in here. Compass works and all that good stuff. So many EITC meetings around here. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if there's any questions, comments, concerns, please. Don't be afraid to let me know. I would really like your guys' advice on what else you would want me to cover. This is my first like real reveal video I've ever done. So don't be afraid to just tell me you know what I should do differently or do better in the next video. Uh, like I said, I plan on covering Tortuga in the next video. There will be um, more improvement. There will also be... Um, I'm going to try to get with Pearson and get a couple of infects on the game. Some, some a little bit more knowledge uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube please please do please support the Pirates Online Retribution project and share this video to all your your pirate friends and all that good stuff and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next video and I really hope you have a good time and for now Undead for Life we'll see you later